Hi, so today I'm going to <clears throat> share with you about how to contradict a witness in the court. Court means here I would uh, <clears throat> limit uh, my explanation in this video to the criminal court. So now before understanding how to contradict a witness in the criminal court, we must understand what is a criminal court, how does a trial happen in the criminal court, what is a witness, what is a contradiction. So I'll just brief you about what is a trial or what exactly happens when a police registers an FIR. In a simple layman language, a complaint is given, FIR is registered, police investigates, that is to say he goes to the accident spot, let us presume that it is an accident case, he makes investigation, he enquires, he collects the statements from the witnesses, he draws the crime scene and he creates a report for it which is called charge sheet. If the report is positive, it is called the charge sheet. If the report is negative, it is called final report in the language of the courts. And he files that report in the court. In the meanwhile, arrest will happen. If at all arrest happens, you must take a bail. Or if at all you are anticipating an arrest, you must take anticipatory bail. So this is the simple language in which a police registers a case, FIR, and charge sheet is filed. And after charge sheet, the trial starts in the court. That is, uh, the accused will try to disprove the charges that are made against him. So this is the basic and the fundamental understanding of how a criminal case is launched against the accused. Now, as I had uh, already informed you, police collects information from the witnesses and writes it in a diary called case diary. And the law very clearly prohibits the investigating officer not to obtain any signature from the witness. If he obtains any signature from the witness, though he may do it illegally and unofficially, he cannot bring the document to the court under section 162 of CRPC. He cannot obtain the signature from the witness. If he obtains a signature from the witness, in the language of the Bible, I would uh, put it in this expression, it will be the fruit of the poisonous tree. So law says that he must collect information from the witness write it down on a piece of paper, sign it and call it 161 statements. Now based on these statements, a couple of statements or more than a couple of statements and other documents like post-mortem report etc etc, he will prepare a charge sheet. Try to understand. Now every witness from whom he has collected information will have to come to court at least once and he, they have to inform the same to the court. So what exactly happens, listen carefully, this is where uh, contradiction of the witness happens. The investigating officer or the police officer collects information from the witness. He writes it down on a piece of paper. He signs it and he submits to the court. Now the court calls the witness or summons the witness and the first question the court asks the witness. Here I am trying to explain in layman uh, language. The first thing court asks the witness is whether the statement that he gave to the investigating officer or the IO is correct or not. If the witness says or deposes in the eye of the law, it is called the deposes under oath, that that was not the statement that is that is made to the investigating officer. The witness is called hostile witness, that is to say, he made a statement in favor of the accused. Accused means against whom a criminal case was launched. Police said he was the witness to the accident. Now, if the witness comes to court and says, he is not, uh, I am not, that if the witness comes to court and says that he was not a witness to the accident. Now, in the eye of the law, police made a statement or submitted a statement to the court, which is not true. Now, the court will have to mark that portion or the entire 161 portion or the entire portion where the witness claimed to have not stated to the police and put it to the police officer again. If the court is not putting it to the police officer again, it should be the duty of the accused while he is cross-examining the investigating officer to put it to the investigating officer the, that the witness from whom he had taken this statement had become hostile. So hope you are getting the point. This is the procedure for contradicting the witness. Witness comes to the court. Witness says something against the police statement. Then the witness is declared as hostile. 
or if part of the statement made to the police is against the deposition of the witness then that part becomes hostile because that is in favor of the accused not in favor of the complainant now whenever io comes because to the statement that was taken by the police officer two parties are there one is the witness the other is the io you have to bring it to the notice of both the witness and the io that is the investigating officer so you have brought it to the notice of the witness so witness denied that he did not make any such statement to the police now you have to bring that fact even to the police officer that whatever the statement that he submitted on behalf of the witness based on the information collected from the witness that the witness denied you have to put that information to the investigating officer also and invariably investigating officer claims that he had taken that information from the witness and the witness is lying that is how you have to contradict a witness now not only the witness denied making any such kind of statement to the police the police officer claims to have taken that kind of statement from the witness because he had signed that statement police officer will definitely say that he took that kind of statement from the witness so therefore not only the witness is denying the statement that is given to the police even the police officer have to claim that he took that statement from the witness in such a way you have to contradict the witness and then only that contradiction is proved the other uh, aspect uh, remaining is if the witness says that whatever he stated to the police is true the same if he states in the court there is no point in proving uh, anything now the witness is as usual he is speaking the statement that was given to the police and there is nothing to prove if the witness denies only there is something to prove along with the statement or along with the deposition that is to be taken from the io this is quite confusing but if you could uh, listen it for a couple of times i think you will get it thank you thanks for watching if you have any doubts kindly comment